Hello again everyone. I'm back at the usual spot. These are just a few that I left last time but I couldn't bring myself to bury them. Maybe I'll bring them bring them back with me one day if I have a bit of a bit of a bad day. But it's pretty uh, pretty smashed up. Even these ones are pretty quite nice. I still quite like the shape of those in the old applied crown top. I think they're pretty cool. But I think I'll just carry on with my hole from last time and uh, I kind of fancy uh, trying a new spot though. So maybe I'll have a little uh, look around. It's quite a big tip, so. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do anyway and I'll, I'm sure I'll show you all when I get there, so. Yeah, see you in a bit. So just having a little look down the hill a bit further. So we've had quite a bit of rain, so you can see the streams littered with stuff, broken bits of china. Old jar there. Sorts of bits. Have a little look up there, shall we? Ely Ronda. So I'm just going down the hill a little bit. Sound like the heel of a clay pipe. But I've just spotted that. Come on, it looks like just a piece of metal, but I think that's what they used to use to polish buttons. You would slip it underneath the button, maybe, and polish it. Pretty sure that's what that is. Unless it's for something else, I don't know. Could be, but... I'm going with that. <laughs> this looks like a pretty good spot that might catch a few bits. But let's go have a look. I'm not really much of a mobile archer, but... The bowl, I think. Yeah, this will be much easier in the summer when all this is dry, but. Little bits of china in there. Some sort of wall here. Where I've been walking in it is uh, picking up all the mud downstream. Quite a nice aqua, that one. Internal screw. Yeah, I think it all just gets smashed up pretty easily coming down here. What's that? Fancy, isn't it? Little medicine lip there. Hmm. 
think you have to have a get your eye in for this sort of thing, don't you? All right, I'll see if I can find anything then. See something interesting down here, look. Looks like a swan's head. That's pretty cool. A bit bright, isn't it? There's the sun. I wonder what that was off. A little figurine, maybe? a bottle there. It's a bit different. It's a screw top. Domestos. Disinfectant. Bleach. Cleanser. Still quite like that, even though it's quite modern, but... I think I'll leave it here for now though. It's my little attempt of uh, doing a bit of mudlucking. The, uh, the water's a bit high at the minute, so I didn't do very well. I got my little doll's head with his teeth. Uh, I think there's the button cleaner. A couple of bits of pottery and pipe and nice little aqua colour jar. I think that'll clean up pretty nice. But I need to get back to digging to warm me up a bit, it's freezing again. So I'll uh, see you when I find my first bottle back in my hole. See you in a bit. Looks like a, uh, maybe a cod stuck in the clay down there. I think I'll need a bit of a speed. I bet it's broken. Yeah. Jones and Son. Oh well. I seem to have lost the nice rusty layer that I've been following up the hill. It's just the clay and then there's just the normal bit. There is a few odd bits in here. I just had this top out. It's got the stopper in it. Pretty sure that's a Hancock. They're quite nice these ones. Yeah. yeah, it's got the bird on there, it's quite nice, I'll, I'll take that out and keep that one I think, but yeah, it's just sort of the clay's here and then it just, just goes to the normal soil really, so uh, yeah, anyway, I'll carry on for a bit and uh, see what we get. I've given up on that hole, there's a... Uh, there wasn't really anything left. I think that was the edge of the tip. I just followed the stream up here though. It's like a little hole under here. It's under a tree though, but uh, have a little look, shall we? Oh yeah, you can see the base there, the clay. Not very deep, is it? Can't really see anything interesting, but it's an old sink. Yeah, I don't think I want to go in there. I think what I'm going to do now is uh, start another one at the bottom of the hill, and then go work my way back up again, but. To be honest, my, uh, my hands are pretty sore from my last dig in the snow, so I know that this is going to be about eight feet deep, so I might just take it easy and get the hole started and then leave it for next time. I'm on private land away from everyone, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's brambles surrounding it anyway, so nice and safe, but... Might as well make a little start for next time. 
but find anything, I'll uh, come back to you. Looks like a little ink here. I don't know, I think that was uh, just really shallow. I don't think it was in my spoils from before, but those are air bubbles in it. Little sheared, sheared lip one. Quite a chunky little thing, that. Yeah, I quite like that actually. It's got more of a shoulder than the like the igloo ones. Sometimes I find like the igloo ones than this, but this has got more of a shoulder. Yeah, not bad. Anyway, I'll carry on. I think that ink was a bit of a must must, must have come from my uh, um, spoil heap because I've had nothing for about four foot, as I expected, but. Just seen this rolling out. Just just knocked it a bit. I think it looks like a beer or something. Oh yes. Hang on a sec. Ah, it's an Oak Hill one. The Oak Hill Brewery Co. Limited. Near Bath. It's quite a nice clear one there, isn't it? So that's a, it says T and E, and then a P, so that'll be Thomas and Evans of Porth, so not the original stuffer. Mm. Just have a little whiff. No, it doesn't smell like beer. I think that's just some skunky water. Yeah, I quite like that though. Not bad. I'll carry on going. Still got some energy left. Still getting a, um, about an hour's more daylight now as well. Just had this little bit of a rusty can. If I can see on there, I'm pretty sure that says Edward. Pretty sure that says Edward on there. Which is funny, because that's my name. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what it is. It's got some uh, scrap in there. Don't know. Just thought it was interesting because you could see a name on there. So I think that's a good sign. We're getting down to the household stuff. So I'll carry on for a little bit more, I think. See what I get. Don't really want to dig much of a hole today. Kind of wanted to have a rest, but we can see that. I'm stood up for the minute, so you can see. That's over my head, that side. It's probably about the same height as me there, so I reckon that's like six and a half, seven foot there. I basically dug a grave. Uh, a, d a grave full of bones as well, so. Yeah, pretty funny, but there's something just here. Uh, it looks like a sauce. Oh, yes. At least something. Oh, it's a granny's. Granny's delicious sauce. I quite like the uh, the embossing on these ones and the just the design of them is pretty nice. They usually come out quite well as well. Nice aqua. That would have been sort of a, a barbecue sauce, I think. Quite an orangey barbecue sauce. I found the ingredients online. <laughs> Yeah, I found, a, I found a few of these, actually. I don't really see many of them anywhere else, but... Yeah, can't go wrong with the grannies. Yeah, not bad. I'll carry on for a little bit, but I'm struggling to get the dirt out of the hole now. I think next time, I think I'll uh, maybe cave in going uphill. Maybe I'll find something that way, but... 
I think I just need to widen the hole so I can get a bit more of a swing on the go, but I'll do that next time. But yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find anything else anyway for a bit more. The sun's about to go down, so I might get a bit dark soon. Cool, see you in a bit. Kind of getting to the good stuff now, but super tired, so I think I'll probably just cut across and uh, cave in a little bit so I can get out because otherwise they'll be stuck down here but just had this one Sh Chamelon is that OH? is that Ohio maybe? get quite a few American bits, nothing on the front oh oil <laughs> Oh, so it's a little oil, oil bottle. I don't know, is that a brand of sewing machine maybe? I don't know, it's not too bad. Clear glass, tooled lip. Similar age to everything else that I find, so. Oh, a lot of digging for the same stuff, <laughs> but it's all right. Anyway, I'll uh, probably find a few more bits, so. Yeah, not bad. Having done a quick bit of research, I came across this newspaper from 1916. There's an advert for chameleon oil that says, strains and bruises. The one remedy beyond compare for all such everyday troubles is chameleon oil. Footballers, runners, and athletes all say it is unequaled, greatly appreciated by soldiers in the trenches. As a family remedy, no home is safe without it. Don't rub hard, but remember when applying chameleon oil, gently does it. The ease and comfort it gives, and the rapid cures it affects, have made it marvellously popular everywhere. Have you proved its merit yet? If not, do so immediately. <laughs> there is hardly a day chameleon oil is not required. Wow, I kind of feel like I need some of this after reading that. Anyway, back to digging. Yeah, definitely getting, get, getting down to it now. Uh. My uh, my headlights, my headlamp is uh, out of reach at the moment, but oh yeah, the ink there. The seam goes over the top of that one, so that'd be 1920s, I reckon. But got this one, it's a bit older, I think. I think that's an ink. It's got quite a long neck. It's the uh, stopper there. It's quite a good condition one as well. Oh, I can't grab it. Yeah, Thomas and Evans, that one. It's quite a nice one. No rust on it or anything. So yeah. There'll be a few more bits here, I think, but... I might not be able to too, do too much filming, being down a hole and the sun's gone, so... It might be a bit dark, but... We'll see. That's me done now. Oh. This is about all I found. Got that granny's broken card. Oak Hill Brewery. It's quite a nice colour that. A few inkwells. Uh, stopper and this little flowery lid of something. This little birdie on there, look. Uh, just a couple of other things. Uh, Woodward Chemist, London. I usually find Nottingham ones. I don't know which ones are older, but. And uh, Scott's Emulsion. Oh, and that oil. I'll have to research that one. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I'll do a little clean up. Won't be very long with all this, well, these bits, but I've got those little bits from my little mud lark at the beginning of the day but I've got my hole going now so next time should be pretty easy should be able to get down right to the bottom this time now it's a bit wider so uh, yeah thanks for watching that's going to be a thumbs up <laughs> see you soon